Miss Senator Larissa Waters here. I'm standing out the front of the Department of Home Affairs with some wonderful, passionate people, many of whom are still condemned uh, on temporary protection visas, which is no protection at all. Um, it's permanent legal limbo, um, where their lives are in absolute uncertainty, uh, with no ability to properly study, to, to get health care, uh, to have uh, employment with any sort of security attached to it. Um, these folk have been found to be refugees. They have a right to be here. And Australia signed a convention in the 50s saying that we would allow people who are fleeing from atrocities of persecution to come and be one of us and contribute to our wonderful society. And yet this government, the Morrison government, uh, are further uh, damaging and torturing people by putting them in this legal limbo and not allowing them to start fresh. I think that the Morrison government and the Labor opposition who are being too weak on this issue as well, I think they're reading Australians wrong. This is a racist move to deny people who have committed no crime, to deny them the ability to start fresh, um, to be part of our economy, our society, um, and to flourish and have a safe life. And I, Australians here are so lucky Many of us have not had to flee persecution for our beliefs or our sexuality or our religion. Um, many of us have, have been born into safety. And I think if you put yourself in the shoes of someone who is fleeing from their own government to keep themselves and their families safe, just like them, you would do anything to keep your kids safe. And you would want just to start fresh, to be an upstanding citizen, to start a business, as um, one of the folk I was speaking to earlier has done. It is absolute cruelty and inhumanity for our government to continue to persecute people who have done no wrong and who just want a safe life here. There should be no temporary protection visas. We need to give permanent protection to people who have sought asylum and been found to be refugees. Uh, we know we've got at least 4,000 Afghan citizens here um, on so-called temporary protection visas, many of whom have been here for years. Given what's just happened in Afghanistan, we need to absolutely give those folk permanent protection immediately. But it's not just them, it's anyone on temporary protection visas. It's not protection, um, it's continued cruelty and uncertainty for people who've done no wrong and don't deserve this. Australia's better than this. Uh, I know our people are better than this. Our government's clearly uh, cruel and racist. We need to vote them out, clearly. Uh, but we need some compassion from the incoming incoming government, let's hope it's of a different colour. And the Greens will always push for a compassionate approach to people seeking asylum. We will always push to close those hell holes, those offshore detention gulags. And we will push to end this temporary protection nonsense, to give permanent protection to people who want to start fresh here in Australia. Uh, and to make sure that no one is detained for longer than seven days to do those basic document checks. It is, it is state sanctioned torture and Australians have had enough of it. It's costing us a bob too. It is a waste of money to be cruel to people who don't, don't deserve that. Uh, so let's get rid of this awful Morrison government and let's make sure that the Labor Party have the Greens in there, pushing them to be stronger and more compassionate to people who are seeking asylum. Thank you. Senator Waters, in the lead up to the election, whenever it's going to be soon, what can Australians do um, to get the message out about this policy, maybe to affect change? Well, I think that the Morrison government and even the Labor opposition, they use this as a political issue, but they're reading our people wrong. Uh, Australians are not racist, and we don't hate people from other countries. We're actually a very warm and welcoming nation. And if our government could recognise that, um, then we'd all do better for it. Our economy would do better for it. Our community would be stronger for it. We need some leadership from our government on this issue, rather than uh, making the issue of refugees and asylum seekers a political football, um, some kind of game, treating these people like pawns. They're human beings. Show some compassion, have some dignity, show some leadership. Uh, we need people uh, who are so moved about this issue, as so many Australians are, to write to their local uh, members of parliament and to tell them that this is an issue that they will change their vote about. That seems to be all this government and the opposition care about is votes. They don't seem to care much about people or doing what's right. But if you send them an email saying, I will change my vote unless you change your asylum seeker policy, and unless you stop locking people up and denying them permanent legal protection, I will not vote for you. I will not vote for you. 
Do you have anything um, to say to give hope to the people from a refugee background who are on this endless treadmill of temporary visas, who can't send their kids off to school at a reasonable price, who can't get permanent um, uh, jobs? Is there anything you would say to them? Well, firstly, I would say an enormous and heartfelt sorry that the Australian government has treated you so badly, so unconscionably, so unbelievably inhumanely. Uh, I can't comprehend how people that think of themselves as religious people, as Christians, can treat anyone like this. I'm not a religious person myself, but they are such hypocrites. So I firstly say I'm sorry, and I would secondly say there are so many Australians who are with you, who want you here and safe, who want you to have permanent protection, come Australian citizens um, to contribute to our society and to be treated as equals with dignity. There are so many Australians that want that. Um, there are many politicians that want that as well. The Greens want that. I'm sure there's good people in all political parties. But we just need the political establishment to get sent a message from good Australian people um, that cruel refugee policy does not win votes. Compassion and decency deserve support. And do you have anything specific for um, the current coalition or uh, Labor, particularly Home Affairs, about this policy that's been going on since Tampa um, of just putting people away and forgetting about them, victimising them? I mean, they're my words, but what yes. would you say to those politicians? I've heard some incredibly moving stories today of people that have fled situations that I have never experienced, that many Australians have never experienced. Um, and many fantastic achieving people, some of whom who, um, have been accepted to do PhDs, but whose immigration status precludes them from doing that. Why is this government stopping people who could be amazing, who could win Nobel Prizes for Australia, or who could just be normal, decent human beings? Why is our government stopping that from happening? What possible harm could it do to allow people on temporary protection visas, asylum seekers, who are fine, upstanding citizens, what harm could it do to allow them to be free in our community, to be supported, to get work, to start businesses, to study, um, to show their kids that you can start fresh, you can stand up for yourself, you can escape awful violent situations. I just don't understand why this government thinks that being cruel to other human beings is a vote winner. It is not a vote winner. We've seen throughout history, um, even conservative governments have taken a compassionate stand at times of global crisis. We have welcomed waves of people from other nations and it has enriched us all. It has been good for us as a community, as an economy. Why is this government making a brand of heartlessness? It's not going to work for them and it debases us all and I hope that it sees them voted out and I hope that the next government hears that strong message that it is strong to be kind and that it enriches us all to be compassionate and to allow these folk on temporary protection visas to just have a fresh start and get on with their lives like the rest of us don't even think about having the rights to do. Enormous respect to the people who've come today. It's a courageous thing to do when you have the whole system and the Department of Home Affairs and the Minister clamping down on people. I've heard stories today of folk that have come to these um, uh, vigils previous weeks that have then had phone calls intimidating them to not come again. So I want to praise the courage of the people who come today. Uh, clearly these vigils are having an impact uh, and I hope the government is getting the message that people aren't going away and that this is an issue of human rights. Thank you. Permanent visa. Permanent visa. Permanent visa. Permanent visa.